Welcome to our lecture online. One of the most fundamental equations in all of physics is Boltzmann equation. And it's a very simple equation. It says that entropy of a state is equal to the Boltzmann's constant, k sub b, times the natural log of w, or omega, it's the number of microstates. So S stands for entropy. The Boltzmann constant is the gas constant divided by Avogadro's number, 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per molecule per Kelvin. And W or omega stands for the number of microstates. I think he meant the omega for that particular case. It was so revolutionary momentum to come up with that understanding of basic entropy at the microstate state that he had that equation carved in his gravestone. So if you go to the grave of Boltzmann, It'll be right on there on his gravestone. That's how monumental that equation was. But can we make sense out of the equation? And so what we're going to do here is relate back to the previous problem where we had a box containing 10 molecules. We have an, a, a, an imaginary line halfway so that the box is divided into two halves, but the molecules are free to move back and forth. And so what's the probability of finding any number of molecules on one side and the remaining on the other side? And we showed how to do that last time and we had the general equation right here. Then we have to realize that this portion of the equation represents the number of microstates in each microstate. Remember there were 11 microstates, but I didn't tell you how many microstates there were. So this here represents the number of microstates in each microstate. And here we have a list of what that number then becomes. So the quantity right here for n equals 0 is 1, for n equals 1 is 10, and for n equals 5 is 252, which means there are 252 microstates for the microstate where there's five molecules on one side and five molecules on the other side. The reason why it's 252 is because if you give each molecule a name, there's a lot of different combinations in which you can have five on one side and five on the other side when you keep track of the individual molecules. So there's a total of 808 microstates for the 11 macrostates. So now we go back to the equation we have here and we may ask the question, what is the entropy of a particular macrostate? Well, it can be calculated as follows. And so here, for example, when we say n equals five, so that's the case where we have five molecules on one side and five molecules on the other side, we take Boltzmann's constant, k sub b, and we multiply the times the natural log of 252, where 252 is the number of microstates for that particular microstate. And we end up with a number of 7.63 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per Kelvin. If we do the same calculation for the microstate where we have n equals four, meaning four molecules on one side and six on the other, and that of course would be for one of them, right? That, that's, you get the same number of microstates for n equals six, but that's a different arrangement. That's instead of having four on the left and six on the right, you have six on the left and four on the right. So you can have both situations. Those are two different microstates, each having 210 microstates. So when we calculate the entropy for n equals four, we get a slightly smaller number. Smaller entropy means, well, less random, more order, less disorder. So n equals four is a more ordered state than n equals five. So now the question may be, how does the entropy change when we go from n equals four to n equals five? n equals four being a more ordered state to n equals five being a more disordered state. And going from an ordered state to a disordered state, we expect the entropy to go up. And that's exactly what we see. So we take the entropy of the final state minus the entropy of the initial state and notice the difference is indeed a positive number, meaning entropy increased from going from n equals four, a more ordered state, to n equals five, a more disordered state. So the whole concept of entropy that we see in the macro world when we start moving heat around from one uh, object to another, the same principle holds when we are at the very tiny quantum mechanics state where we have individual molecules in a box and different arrangements of those molecules, and Boltzmann was able to figure out how to calculate the entropy of each of those states and depending upon the number of microstates. Very brilliant discovery and this is how it's done.